today we're being joined by, or technically being rejoined by Claremont Waffle W star now, Angelique Raisin. Razo, thanks for coming on. Yeah, glad to be here again. No worries. So I'm not going to do the same shit because we did that last time. But to refresh some people's memories, what position do you play on the footy field, Andrew? A uh, bit of a bit of a utility at the moment. Um, a bit of a ball forward, uh, a little bit of inside mid, and was rough on the weekend. So covering nice. that. playing all kind of positions. Now, last time I heard the word utility, Jazz Johansson we had that. Well, I gave that nickname the utility. Uh, now speaking of Jazz and the other people in that goal king challenge, when I ventured over down west to Perth, we had that goal king challenge, Andrew, and uh, you seem to have fared pretty well, scoring twenty four. Well, so you. Th- didn't know you actually got 24. You thought you got something at uh, 25, beg your pardon, and, which was equal first in the full round. But you didn't qualify because of miscount. Yeah, look, I thought the, I thought the whoever was goalie behind just kind of went, or well, the goalkeeper just kind of said, oh, no goal. So I went, oh, I'll just take it. As a, it was a bit of unsure, the post report, so I'll just take it, not the goal. That got me through, but I probably should have kicked a bit. <laughs> it is what it is, but... um. Obviously, with Kayla, then you had to go through the qualifying stage for the third spot. Fortunately, didn't go your way. Um, but yeah, overall, what did you, how do you think you went? Obviously, four straight, which is better than everyone, bar two other people that got four as well. Um, I seem pretty happy with how you went overall, though. Yeah, yeah, was pretty happy with that, uh, considering didn't train too much in the forward line in the off season or pre season. So yeah. Pretty good. That's, that's good. But anyway, it is what it is. Is there any particular key points to out of that contest. Is anyone that surprised you, someone that you've either locked inside G-Web or anyone like that, or someone that you didn't necessarily know that you were surprised how they went? Uh, I thought maybe got a few more, but... Uh, Who was that, sorry? Oh, yeah. A bit more, but, yeah, no, no one else too surprised. That's fair enough. Now, obviously... Speaking on the topic of Claremont, obviously you were at East Prairie last year, right, right, Andrew. So what prompted that move to go from East Prairie down to Claremont? Uh, I think it was just the maybe like a fresh start kind of thing. Um, mm. I, I, I live in the middle of all the clubs, so nothing's really – no, I don't really have a club near me at the moment. So I think it was just like a fresh start. And then it's been good since there, yeah. That's good. Now, obviously, Charlotte, Adam's a good teammate. She was on last week, and she said that, Andrew, that you've been giving her a bit of a pound bump. She's got to be – stop being original. The thumbs up is not a great goal celebration. And uh, you've been working with her to do another one, and then I added on to it to do the double Cobra, and she did it. How proud of you that she actually followed through on it? Yeah, I was pumped with that. That was really, really good. She um, said a couple of weeks ago she's uh, not a huge celebrator, and I told her that's not so she stepped up and gave us a big celebration. And so that's good. And I love that she listened to you and delivered on that. Um, as you said, that was something you've been trying to get over for a few weeks. So it's good to see she's done that. Now, obviously, Andrew, you obviously were talked about pretty heavily in last year's draft. And unfortunately, didn't go your way. How did you um, feel around that time when it didn't happen? What was your initial reactions to then? Uh, yeah, I think pretty good. I um, mean, because uh, it would be so, like uh, if I were to get picked up or if I didn't, I think the fresh start kind of helped and go up to new clubs, still same kind of emotional yeah. through. Um, yeah, I mean, anyone who the most disappointing feeling, but it's one mm. of um, Were you a bit surprised, though, with all the talk that you had in that stage alongside Jamie Henry, who, who felt unfortunately in the same position as yourself, were both being talked about non-stop throughout the draft talk and then just didn't eventuate? Uh, I've never been a huge person to like expect anything. I don't think it was a surprise. Mm. disappointing thing. Like, yeah. Never helped you in that situation. So, yeah, I will come if it won't. Do you, have, do you have, like, a chip on your shoulder to kind of prove people wrong and by first off making that new change, as you said, jumping clubs for a fresh start as well. Do you feel that chip on your shoulder? Uh, I don't think it's much of a chip to prove anyone wrong. I think it's more of a fact to prove the work we did do. Um, yeah. I don't want all of that to go to waste. So I think, yeah, just proving myself right. 
Yeah. Would would AFLW the draft in terms of thing at the end of this year? Would that be something you try to nominate again for yourself? Still have that dream, obviously, to get to where you started wanting to get to. Yeah, definitely, definitely to renominate. Um, opportunity is an opportunity, and I'll give you a red hot crack this season. Now, last year, obviously, you've been before the WA State Championship, you've been the captain representing all your teams in that. Um, would something outside of WA be something you would consider to get that AFRW dream if that was to happen? Like, would you be happy to go outside of Perth if that opportunity was to arise there? Yeah, definitely move over east if there was a there. I've always been pretty big on that. I'm happy to go anywhere to continue to play footy. Where you can. That's right. Um, now, obviously, you made that jump, as you said. You wanted a fresh start from East Freo. Obviously, you had some premiership success there. Um, what are some individual accolades or team accolades that you've had throughout your whole football journey, whether that's through juniors or most recently? Uh, I think premiership was probably good. Uh, the year before that, even though we lost the grand final, I that winning player was pretty cool. Um, you know, team. Yeah. yeah. Captain probably would be my favourite one. I think that was an absolute honour to be able to do that. Um, mm-hmm. Junior footy stuff, but nothing or anything like that. Um, and I got another award for a finals thing as well in the younger junior years, but yeah, nothing too much. Fair enough. Now, how do you feel the new side, Claremont's gone this year, obviously having some interesting results this year. How do you feel the girls have started so far? Yeah, I think we've like meshing really well as a team. Um, I think the win on the, against East Fair on the weekend, I think shocked a lot of the girls and I think the comp. Um, basically, mining everyone Claremont is and Good side, uh, yeah. How, how much belief could that win against a strong side put into this year? Because obviously, I keep hearing about you know Claremont and East Free of the rivalry and competing in those grand finals. Um, how much motivation does that give you for the rest of the season now to show that you can belong at that top stage as well and have been as well? Yeah, I think it's great. I think, yeah, I think it gives a shock to the competition with. <laughs> one was but, but the game it was an incredibly difficult game um boys could get the big sticks a little bit better on the day I guess. Um yeah I think it gives Claim a good idea of kind of where we're at and we're gonna keep pushing to get better and better and hopefully make it out this year. Sure now obviously this week you got obviously East Perth at their home ground. Um what do you need to do to kind of combat them to get then obviously they've struggled and have only just joined the Copper Cup for a couple of seasons, but the old Paul suppose never underestimating a side because you know you beat a top team like East Freo and then sometimes you can think, oh not you, but like as a team you go, Oh yeah, well we beat them, so we beat someone lower to not kind of take them for granted because it doesn't just happen like that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's make sure to stay on top of a team and I don't think take your foot off the throat. I think Keep going and yeah, it doesn't matter who the side is on the week. I think the score is zero for every quarter. I think that's a common saying. So yeah, I think I like that and keep trying to do what we do best, trying new mm. things if it is. Or mm. so, what are some goals, Andrew? You set for yourself this year? Uh, I haven't set too many goals. I think work rate was probably my biggest one. Mm-hmm. Moved around the too much playing yeah. full four yeah, and then rock, but the ground inside really work rate, which is really nothing specific goals that I can like measure as such, just goals that I reckon can kind of get in the game if I push myself mm. over. But now obviously when you were in the under eighteen state championship for WA you were the captain, is leadership something you've ever wanted to get into? Or is it something you would love to still continue to do? Uh, I did love it at State. Um, I'm not the loudest person by any mention, but I think I prefer like leadership to need any help with your questions or feedback or anything like that. Um, I do like having a little bit of a leadership role and work on that is a big one here. Um, yeah, I think it's a kind of good opportunity to get if you can get in those roles. So I think the thing each it then that just adapt to the game even more. I think leadership allows you to do that in a player role way. 
That's good. Now, obviously, goal celebration there, Joe, obviously something you love doing. I love doing a lot of people, especially that play up forward, do love doing. And obviously, giving Charlotte some tips. Andrew, I know now, Gold King Comp, you did the ear one as well, and I'm sure there's a double cobra. There's all these avenues of goal celebration, Andrew. What are your favourite ones, and what are some others outside the double cobra that you kind of hint at teammates they should start to pull out, like Charlotte had to? Uh, I do like a good bow and arrow. That's always, always a really cool one. Yes. Uh, Double fist, double fist to underarm, which is yep. a different angle of a double code, basically. And uh, the jump with tug is also, but uh, just getting the, I think anything, if you get nice and excited, I think, I feel like women's footy, you could get a little bit more excited with gold. We don't mm. need as the men, but I think we should really get excited about the ones that we do do. Absolutely, you get a get a love of gold celebration. Is, now, is there any players that Claremont you've got in the firing line now that Charlotte's Gone and done, Hurst. Is there others that you're trying to get to do a goal celebration or you still want Charlotte to continue to do more? Is there any plays in mind that you've got to do some more? Yeah, I think Charlotte's going to keep doing them because she said she's done and I I think she really just got to bring out new ones every goal she kicks. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, I would love to see Charlotte Tompkin, another Charlotte, yeah. do another few celebrations. That would be always nice. I, I think anyone in the forward line. Bring out some big celebrations, yeah. That's fair. There you go. To the two Charlottes, it's a Charlotte thing. Um, they got to bring out the celebrations to live up to the name. Now, Mark of Goal of the Year, Andrew, which one would you rather do and why? Um, I think Goal of the Year. I think it's yeah. just oh, no, they're both incredibly cool things to do. But I think Goal of the Year, you have to do something pretty specky. Same as mm. Mark of the Year. Especially from my point of view, I'm not the most athletic in the world, so Mark mm-hmm. of the Year was quite in my wheelhouse. But yeah, hopefully, nice and fancy for a goal would be cool. That's fair. I mean, um, yeah, obviously, you can't go wrong either way, can you? I mean, you can see pros and cons of both. Um, would you be one though, Andrew, to post it if you were to pull off one of those contenders? Oh, I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, I think it would have to depend. I don't. I don't think so. You just boast a bit. I'm happy to repost things, I guess. And I think if it's expected of me to, that yeah, whatever's expected. But now, with all these goal celebrations that you've done, though, Andrew, what is your go-to goal celebration, or do you like mixing it up as well? Uh, I think last year was definitely the double fist. Like I said, underneath. Um, yeah, I think that's the easiest one. It gets me most psyched up. Um, the other ones are kind of just silly ones that I do if I if they're feeling like that or whatever. But the game's intense. It's normally just quite a simple one. That's fair. Of all the WA girls that you got to captain last year, who are you most excited to see how they go in AFLW this year? Are the girls that got drafted or the girls that? Yeah, the ones. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin Serho, I think, is going to be a really good one to watch. Uh, she's an elite athlete, an elite player, elite teammate. Um, I think she would do really, really well over there, over East. Um, so, yeah, I think she's definitely the one I'm most excited to watch play. Definitely a top draft pick. will definitely go well with the Giants for sure. Um, now, while you ventured over to Claremont, have you decided or have you noticed any coaches' pets? Uh, not, not particularly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, any outside of footy interests that you have? Uh, do like basketball. Um, bit of a bit of a grandma in the crafts. Do like all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. My dad. Uh, yeah, just really. That's fair, Nick. So I do remember when you drafted, you were talking about giving up basketball to focus on footy. Is basketball still something that you've put to the side or is it something more of a casual thing or are you bringing that back now from a uh, competitive level? Uh, yeah, I've given that up just to give myself a, few, a full year off basketball to go back to it. It's always there. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I think having not basketball is quite nice. Not having to do two, two trainings a night is easier yeah. on the body. That is very true. Any favourite TV shows or movies that you have? Um, I'm a big fan. Uh, much. Sorry, what was that? 
the American office. I think it's my favorite. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, now, the best goal, Anjo, you've ever kicked at any level? Is it any particular goal that always strikes to your mind of the best goal you've ever got? Uh, I do, actually. I had one from the boundary in Rogers, and it kind of dribbled in from the rocket, which I don't think I'd ever be able to redo again. Um, video or anything, so I'm going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Everyone loves us. As I said in the, our comp we did, I love a goal from the pocket. That I'm more better to get a goal on the pocket than what I am in front or on an angle. I don't know why. It's just a thing. Maybe because I practice them 2,000 times every time I do a dual one. Yeah, they are, they are the most I guess, yeah, they're fun to practice, so I think you just do it more. Yeah, I think the fun is uh, a boring one, so you don't get less practice at them, so that would make sense. Absolutely, that's right. Um. Who loves the limelight, the attention, the camera at Claremont or any of the teams you've ever been a part of and they can't get enough of it and they know exactly what to do when that camera's around? Uh, oh. I think maybe Charlotte Tompkins loves the camera a little bit. She loves the limelight. Yep. Uh, loves a good dance as well, which is always funny. Uh, yeah. Interesting. How would you say, Andrew, for people that would hypothetically say you, would you agree with them or would you say they're lying? That say what? Sorry? Sorry. That's all right. Um, would you, what would you say to people that would say you would be the person in this category that loves the limelight and the attention? What would you say to someone that says that? Uh, I don't think it's completely true. Um, I mean, yeah, no, I don't like any of that stuff. But... Yeah, no, that's... That's fair enough. Um, what's something someone does at the club, though, Andrew, that you can't stand, whether that's leaving rubbish around, it's being flat out annoying? Is there anything in particular that just comes to mind? No, nah, Claremont girls are pretty good. There's nothing, nothing annoying there. Yeah, pretty good and pretty self-aware. Yeah, that, that's, well, that's a good thing. You don't necessarily want someone that is being annoying. Who is one of the toughest opponents? Andrew, at any level, whether it's for the state championships or in the waffle, um, who's some of the toughest opponents you've had to match up on? Uh, I think probably, like I've said, I think Matt is the toughest opponent. Um, I've never seen an amazing guy. He is a pain in my backside, to say the least. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, very annoying, to me, which makes sense. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, who's some teammates, Andrew, that you've been impressed with? They kind of fly under the radar a little bit. They don't get talked about as much as you feel they should, even if they get talked about inside the club, but not so much from the outside. Yeah, I think Eva O'Donnell needs to be talked up more. She's an elite footballer. I had a few, which doesn't help. But, yeah, I think she's – if one she's under her belt, she's going to be a name that's going to be – Yeah. What are some fun facts about you, Andrew, that people may not know about you? Oh, fun fact. Um, like I said, I do like crafts and all that stuff. Do love a good puzzle. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm not. I can never think of him, and then the interview finishes. I've got a, I've got a couple, but yeah. I, don't have any. Mm, I know how you feel. That's exactly. It's the same with questions. Like I'll. I'll have it in my mind beforehand to say something and then I'll go off and go, oh, I didn't say this. It's just I know exactly how you feel. I yeah, we can both can agree on that. Um, so defenders, I feel like, Andrew, they deserve a bit more love from a public point of view, especially at AFL and AFLW level. Obviously, the forwards got the Coleman and the mids have got the Brownlow and, and Rucks get recognised in votes these days. Um, do you feel defenders do need their own official title at that level as well? Yeah, I think so. I think Claremont used to have the award called the Golden Fist, which I think was for the backliners. I don't yeah. know if they still did, but they definitely did have one. And I think back in the day, they been the last few years. But so the higher level is probably to be appreciated more. Mm. Very hard. They play a very important role, even without them. Mm. No, that's all right. Because, yeah. Mm. Have you ever had any AFL or AFLW player interactions as a fan, Ancho, that were either memorable or forgettable? Uh, I don't think so. Um, no, nothing. Fair enough. Uh, most prized possessions you own? Prized possession? Um, 
my premiership jersey is probably one of the most most prized possessions. Very special. Yeah, getting a kick from there for me. Um, yeah, yeah. That'd be a good one. Um, what is one of your, or at least one or more hidden talents that you have that people may not know? Hidden talents. Um. What? That might be. Oh, yeah, just being a ball might be a hidden talent, but something too bit of tricky to learn. Fair enough. I, I, uh, it just dropped here for a second that when you first started. What, what was it that you were talking about? Oh, I was talking about juggling and uh, like spinning a basketball on my finger. Oh, nice. nice. Have you got a, a record time for how long you can spin it for? No, I've never timed it actually. Um, just trying to think the new ones about me and then catching. Um, yeah, no, we timed. That's that's fair enough. Now this is the t- part of the interview, uh, Andrew, where teammates' hearts get broken and teammates love you more and more. Who is the best chatterbox at the club? Uh, I think Georgia Webb might take that take that one. Uh, love okay. it. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a fair answer. Um, ooh, who is the loudest and quietest teammates? Uh, quietest, probably Eva O'Donnell. Yeah. Uh, loudest, we're Dale Arnott. Yeah, I've heard Eva get mentioned in that category multiple times, so that definitely seems to be a common trend. Um, and Adele as well. Um, now, if you were stuck on a deserted island with teammates, Andrew, who would you like to bring and not want to bring and why? I reckon I'd bring Kate Orm, pretty resourceful. That should be as an island. Uh, at yeah. least bring. Um, hmm, that's true. Uh, probably Eva O'Donnell. Uh, I think she's. She doesn't like, she can't handle the sun very well, neither can I, but she handles it worse than me. So I think bringing her to the desert island would just be rough. That's very yeah. That's a good reason there. Definitely be heat is not something now. Obviously, you mentioned there about not liking the heat, Andrew. So, how are you then living in Perth with, with that weather always being so hot ninety nine percent of the time? Ah, uh, get burnt lots, which is not super great for the skin. But um, I think wherever you live, so I mean the weather's nice and warm over here, and I think probably had some of the best weather in Australia. So can't really complain yeah. about it. Yeah, that's very that's very true. Um. Now, favourite music? Oh, I do love Go Tunes. I like the good musical music. Um, yeah. It's fun. Uh, uh, oh, I do love a bit of Tenacious D. I do like um, Tribute. I love it at the moment. Nice. Um, any game day superstitions? Uh, I've tried to drop a few of them. I was like just fried my brain with them last year. But uh, nothing, nothing huge this year. I think we usually have a speed before the game, and I think that's about it at the moment. That's so fair I enough. Warm up in my jersey, so I, like, I don't have a warm up top at Claremont, so I just have to I warm up in my polo. Okay, yeah, um, that's an interesting one. Um, so with game day superstitions, you mentioned there, but you used to have some, and you don't really do now. What were some that you used to have then? Oh, I used to get in a real bad habit of having to do a jigsaw puzzle the night before a game, which is incredible. Oh, dead. That's very uh, yeah, it was very particular on how I tied moves, how I did socks, everything. I was a uh, bit of everything. Um, jumper number, Andrew. What jumper number now do you wear at Claremont? Is there any meaning behind the number? Did you get to pick it? How was that process? I've got, I got to pick 26. Um, there is a little bit of meaning, but not nothing huge. Uh, I 33 wasn't available, so that kind of maybe okay. I can number, but yeah. Nothing That's fine. Now, for people that don't know, who did you grow up supporting in AFL, AFLW? I'm a Freya supporter. All right, so obviously, well, you would have been really happy on Sunday then with Freya having a big win over the one of the grand finals from last year in the men's, the Brisbane Lions, a nice win there. Yeah, that was great. That was really good. Especially after being four goals down to start the game and then to win by 30-odd points or whatever it was. Yeah, I mean, Freo do love a good comeback game. I think they're probably known for it. That's good. Now, obviously, with the women's side of things, obviously, they 
didn't do too well last year. Um, obviously, they brought in a few, fair few actual recruits from the trade side of things as well and in the draft. How do you reckon they'll go for the rest of this year or later on in the year? Yeah, I think they'll probably go really well, um, with especially with these second year coaching. I think, yeah, everything will go hopefully where they want it to and then hopefully they can cheer them on. Mm. Who, who would you say is the best player, Andrew, in the AFLW competition? Because there's really... So, even compared to the men's, where you know, there's a, probably a certain five that you can pick between. But with the women's one, I think it's much more even. You go, obviously, got Ebony Marinoff, Laura Garner, Ali Morford, Mon Conti, Jazz Garner, Ashradell. There's so many names, Ella Roberts. There's so many names you can put in that spot. Who would you put in that spot? Yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think you're right. There are so many names. I think, mm. yeah, I don't think I could pick up. That's fair. I mean, yeah, you got you got the Prasparka sisters as well. You got. Uh, yeah, this Sally Goldsworthy. There's so many names just to show, as I said. So even now, Andrew, I don't know why people are like this with food questions. They get so worked up over these the hot topic food questions. So I'm going to bring it to you as well. Now, only six people have ever got all questions correct how, to how I would answer. I want to see how you go here. Um, so the first one, uh, chicken palmy. Is it a palmy or is it something else? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a palmy. Thank you very much. That's I've never had someone on here at least in an interview tell me otherwise because I'm waiting for the first person to say that because whoever that person is, I'm not going to be very happy and I'm going to debate them and want to tell them, okay, why? what is your illogical reason this? <laughs> it's spelled palmy, isn't it? And it's pronounced palmy jana. It, you, I don't understand anyone that could say otherwise. Yeah, it is a bit odd. Uh, definitely, I think so. Definitely. Now, Tomato sauce, cupboard or fridge? Fridge. Not bad. Two for two. I like it. Now, this seems to be the food one that always splits up the damn answers. Pineapple on a pizza, yes or no? Good. Three for three. Love it, Andrew. Right. Okay. Favourite food? Oh, favourite food. Um, I think I like to I think they're going to be my favourite. Sorry, what was that? Tacos. I love that. Tacos, that's a good one. That's definitely good. That's a good answer. Four for four. What do you put, it, just out of curiosity, on on a taco? Oh, I think there are so many. I think that's why it's my favourite. You can put whatever you like. I think mum does a good, um, good like beef brisket with some um, Brussels sprouts and uh, pickled onion. Always pretty good. Okay, not bad. Um, foods you don't like? I uh, can't keep pumpkin down to save my life. Mm. All right, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it either. So I'll, I'll accept that. All right, four for four, good. Okay, a five for five. I mean, um, now this is not a part of that question, but best dish to cook if you do cook. Is there any, or if you don't cook, is it just something nice and basic? Uh best dish to cook. Oh, I don't know. Um, I do like baking a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any savory go-tos i think i think i like to mix that up but if i'm going to bake breakfast in the morning feeling something a little bit more fancy i think that's my way to go yeah that's fair enough now this is the last one from the question side of things the food um now let's have a look at how you go here favorite takeaway place oh, uh, there's a really good thai place around the corner from where i live so i think we'd have to say pinto fair enough i'll, I'll cop that so you're the seventh person now to get all questions correct, so that's good. Well done. All right, now, hmm. if you were the AFL, AFLW, or Waffle W CEO for a day, Andrew, what rule would you add and or remove? Um, I think I'd remove the anti-density rule from the Waffle women's at the moment. Yeah, I've, I've had a lot of girls say that. I mean, yeah, it seems to be one that is frustrating. Yes, it's new, and sometimes it takes a while to adjust to things. But, yeah, when it's been described to me, I, I don't like that either. That sounds pretty crap. Yeah, yeah, it's not a super ideal. Or I'd um, add, like, time in the game. Yeah, the time, yeah, absolutely. That could be one that could add longer times into the time on and everything like that as well, for sure. Uh, celebrity Crush. Oh, that's always difficult. Um, can't go past Blake Lively, I think. Okay, I think I've heard his name mentioned once or so, twice before, and this 
question. Um, now, going back to the topic of music, you mentioned some music. You didn't mention this person's name, but I'm going to bring her up anyway. Taylor Swift. Are you a Swifty or are you not a fan? Uh, I, w- I wouldn't call myself a Swifty. I'm not a diehard fan, but I do like her music. Okay. Uh, look, to be honest, a month ago or so, whenever she came to Melbourne, I look obviously she was good and everything like that. I didn't dislike her, I didn't like her, or anything like that. So similar to you. Um, but then one day I just randomly said to someone, I'll insert a fake name. So John, mate, just shake it off. And now obviously that's a Taylor Swift reference, right? But I didn't intentionally do it for that. And they got so worked up because they hate Taylor Swift. So if you ever hate uh, if there if there is anyone, Andrew, that doesn't like Taylor Swift and you want to piss them off because it seems you're good at stirring people up, I see. So that could be something that you could very well do. And uh, they just crack it because they hate Taylor Swift and they hate that you're referencing her and annoying them at the same time. And then the other one is, gee, if, if hate Taylor Swift, this could be one of the icing on the cake. Oh, John, all you got to do is hate, 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 hate. That's another one. I'll, I'll keep that in my back pocket, definitely. I'm sure you've got plenty of things in your back pocket, Andrew, for jokes and everything. Now, are you a club comedian? Oh, I don't think I could. That's definitely a belong form. Um, yeah, I, I think I have my tendencies, but I, I wouldn't call myself a comedian. Fair enough. Um, now, obviously, jump scaring. You mentioned before about things that could be annoying that someone does. Are you someone that does to, that tries to scare people? And if so, or the other way around, have you fell victim to being jump scared? Yeah, I do scare a couple of people around the world. Only my close mates, so, yeah. Fair enough. I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised, to be honest, but that's a good thing. Now, have have you got someone real good at a jump scare? Uh, yeah, Mac Webb, really good a couple of times. Uh, absolutely craps so, herself. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's you got to get someone for that. Now, just a few more for your interest. I do appreciate you coming on. Um. In an ideal world, so if you could have a dream scenario, Andrew, how would you love this season to pan out for you individually and as a team? Uh, yeah, like I said, I would love my work rate to be really, really high. Um, I think so. Uh, and, yeah, obviously winning a premiership would be great. Um, I do give a couple of sledges to the girls saying I'd love to go back-to-back, um, which always hurts a couple of the Claremont Kills feelings, but uh, it's rough with a few feathers. That's right. That'd be that'd be interesting. Yeah, you get the double, but they don't because you beat them last year. Well, now you play for them. That's a, that's yeah. a really good one. Now, Andrew, I, I know you're one that loves chit chat. So, in terms of and banter side of things, so crowd hecklers. How do you deal with crowd hecklers? He, crowd hecklers, Andrew, and are you one to bite back? Uh, I think at the point. I think it uh, depends on what I'm one. Really, I can't really mm. hear them. Anything. Out of the field, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, hecklers, I can't really say I do much about them. They're just, they're wasting their time. So now, with with goals, and you mentioned with Marks as well, if you could best describe the best goal you would love to ever kick, Andrew, it can be as unrealistic as you want either. You can add the angle, the distance, the occasion. If you could put that all together, Andrew, what is that scenario for you? Um, I think I'd love a goal from the from the square. A goal from the goals? No, no, from the um center square. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's a good one, Andrew. It's been a pleasure having you back on here. All the best for the rest of the season at Claremont, and uh, yeah, hopefully now next time you kick a goal too. Eh? What celebration are you going to pull out next one? Uh, I think I'll just pour. I think I'll go with a double fist just for this bit, uh, especially this week. Um, yeah. Lucky. So, yeah. Absolutely, Don't. and I'm gonna keep that in mind. And I'm gonna, like with Charlotte, I'm gonna wait and see what happens to see if something comes out. And Charlotte, too, if you're listening again, you still got to keep on doing it. It's not a one and done. It's it's a continuous thing. Andrew, it's been a pleasure having you on. Thanks for coming back on. Thank you so much. No worries.